who's a known art collector and a huge fan of, of art in general. Um, the, all the art you'll see throughout the sales office is original, uh, and art plays a big component throughout all of their buildings. They own the secret building, which we're standing in, um, and the Lever House, which is that glass building just across the street. Both buildings are landmarks, uh, iconic buildings, so they, the building we created here was um, something that will compare, but also had its own identity here in, in the town. Um, and these two buildings were sort of set the, set the benchmark for modern architecture for an office building here. If you guys want, you can walk around a bit. I'll show you sort of the context of those things. So here's 53rd Street, uh, here's Park Avenue where you guys enter. Uh, often you'll see art in our plaza here or in the plaza of the Libra House. Um, the, so the, the Seagram building stands with bronze and glass, golden glass cube uh, throughout, and then we're, we're sort of a little bit more modern, clean, crisp, white feel, very bright. Um, a couple of things that you'll note here is when uh, the building was designed, it was designed by Norman Foster, famous British architect, um, probably one of the most famous still living today. He designed it with the bustle and tower feature, similar to the Seagram building, both the bustle and the tower feature. And then they'll have little touches like that I could show you on the other model, it's a little more prominent, but on the east and west side of our building, you'll have a faceted wall, which creates for a nice architectural detail on the inside and outside, similar to those windows there. Um, and then throughout the building, you'll have um, bronze touches in the lobby and some of the apartments, sort of to pay tribute to the secret. Hey, Building和这个Lever 非常高而且这开发商呢你比如说什么这平台自己特别喜欢艺术Quickly show you on the map where we are. So we are see the building right here, and our building will be right next door. You can actually see it. Right right um, so we're right in the middle of what we're calling the Midtown Cultural District. So you you have MoMA's, yeah, MoMA's right there on the same block. You can actually see the building MoMA Tower right there. Um, yeah. And you have 432 Fatten Park Avenue, which I'm sure you're familiar with, which you can also see out the window here. So it's sort of moving the residential corridor further down, south down Park Avenue. And then of course, just over Fifth Avenue, you have one of the top shopping corridors in all of the world. Um, Plaza Hotel, Central Park, 157, another iconic 57th Street We're about a 10 minute walk from the theater district, so we have all this shopping and sort of cultural things just within a few blocks of this here. Waldorf Astoria, just a few blocks south, and then we're about 10 blocks north of Grand Central. A couple of examples of shopping corner over here, yep, up at Avenue. Bergdorf Goodman. Oh, 
Prada. Oh, actually, the Ferrari store just that, just that side here. Medicine, the past one is medicine. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, let's take a look at the, the model, and I'll give you a breakdown of the apartments and that sort of thing. So the building will stand at 711 feet high. It'll be 63 stories, 94 total units. Uh, again, it'll be broken up into the base or the bustle and then the tower unit. The, the base apartments will be a little more industrial, downtown feel. Uh, they'll have concrete floors, ribbed concrete ceilings, and then the kitchens will be outfitted in stainless steel. Give you a... It's a bit of a bit. The bit of a bit is from 10 feet to 9 feet. It's a bit of 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 a Here's an example of what an apartment will look like in the loft. So you have polished concrete floors, ribbed concrete ceilings. Yeah, so, five through nine. The, amenit the amenities will be on three and four, and then the restaurant component, which I'll explain over there, are on the first two floors. So this will be an example of a base apartment. So you see a little more downtown industrial feel. There's one at night. The base will house three apartments on each floor two one-bedrooms, and then a, a large two-bedroom, over 4,000 square feet, about 4,400 square feet. And then here's an example of a tower apartment, so a little more contemporary feel. You have the oak floors that you'll see, similar to the ones here in the, um, in the model, and then a darker backsplash, but still oak on the cabinetry there. And then ceiling heights throughout will be just under 10 feet, so over a foot higher than what you see in here. So they'll be much higher than this. And then on the higher floors, closer to 11 feet. These are just under 9 feet. Yeah. So, so at least a foot more. So here we have. Um, so here we have basically what will be ground. The will basically be the, the bustle of the tower or the uh, base of the building. Ground floor through eight. We have nine on there, but it's a lot wider up the TV would be. Um, uh, like I mentioned before, the ground floor eatery will be designed by uh, Joel Rubichon, will be the chef. Uh, interior design will be Joseph Durand, who's a famous French interior designer known for uh, this very minimal style. I have some renderings over there, which I can show you once we're done. Uh, but on the ground floor, you'll have an all-day eatery here, more casual dining, and then on the second floor, Joel Rubichon is doing a fine dining restaurant. It'll be about, I think, 100 seats. Um, this is the residential entrance, so this will be on 53rd. The restaurant will have a separate entrance on Lexington Avenue here. Uh, and of course, uh, the residents will have um, uh, premier access to reservations in the restaurants, as well as uh, room service for the residents. So you'll have your entrance here, uh, resident lobby, and then on the second floor here, you'll have another portion of the restaurant. I think, I, <coughs> I believe now they're, they're talking about doing a sitting area over here and then a sushi bar, a 40 person sushi bar. Mm -hmm. In the back on the second floor, you'll have, this is where the elevators will be housed, so they'll be on the west side of the building in the back. Um, and then you'll have a private dining room for residents only. 
And then on three and four, you'll have the residential amenities. So you'll have the pool here, which you see there, which is unique because we're not in the basement like most buildings. 60 foot lap pool, which will be showered with natural light all throughout the day. And this will be a double height ceiling in the pool. And then you'll have amenity library. You'll have a library, two lounges, and then on the fourth floor you'll have your gym, yoga rooms, changing rooms, steam, sauna, and um, and spa treatment rooms. There won't there won't be any in-house spa service, but um, we've hired Quintessentially, which is a global concierge service, and they'll be able to set up anything like spot treatments for you and anything hotel style kind of here. So if you need tra transportation, travel, personal shopping, really anything um, you could think of, they'll, they'll be able to do, handle that for you. Here's an example of what it'll all look like, sort of intertwined here. So that's uh, the sculpture. The sculpture comes with uh, will be in there too, or uh, just the decoration. There, there will be some art installation. That, that one's going to be super yeah. expensive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's going to be that one, but oh, yeah, I, I don't think like so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll show you some of the finishes and fixtures throughout. If you guys want, Here, here's an example. Let me show you just quickly the neighborhood. That looks like they use the same. Yeah, they use the same sculpture over here and there. Cultural, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Here, here are some of the examples of the art that's been featured out here, either in Lieber House Plaza. Or in the... I think so, yeah. Yeah, English is still Yeah. yeah. This, these were a few of the these were a few of the recent art installations across the street at, at Lever House. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Uh, this is just outside here at Seagram Plaza. There, it, that's that sculpture right there. But yeah, it's, it's, it plays a big part in, in this building here as well as... This is uh, MoMA Sculpture Garden. This is in MoMA as well. Good. Good, great. So I'll show you guys a few more of the fixtures and finishes. This is a Damien Hurst. Yeah, Damien. Yeah. This one. What's the value of this one? <laughs> the value? Yes. Uh, all, all of the art in here together is about 30 million. About 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of it. I, I, that I one, forgot. The, yeah, the, the CY. Probably... CY town, please? CY si si town, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Tillman or something. I, I, probably, yeah. I, I, I don't know if it's out of my head. Okay, okay. But yeah, this one. This one too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, this is um, what would be about a two bedroom kitchen. So you have custom cabinetry throughout, designed in the US by Boston Partners. So the same, develop, uh, same architect that's doing the design. Two bedroom kitchen. Yeah, this is about the size of two bedroom. <laughs> Maybe the island might be a little bit longer, but this is about the size of a two bedroom. Uh, so, so those are the open, all the open kitchen? Yes. The open kitchen, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carrera counter, marble countertops with this knife edge feature here. As you'll see throughout uh, Carrera's backsplash, and they will have Gaggenau appliances throughout, and a Mila washer dryer, which in this one is housed here. There's even a washer dryer there in this. Ah, this washer Washer dryer, yes. Yep. <laughs> it's too small. <laughs> Too small. This is a two bedroom or for all? Uh, I think they'll all be this size. All the same. Yeah. Oh. I mean, if you wanted to put in something bigger, you could. This is oh. standard. Oh. Just yeah. standard size. Oh. They'll also have a laundry facility in the basement this as well if you want to use that. Uh, so, yeah, you'll have like Gaggenau induction here. This is your oven. Oh, all the, the electricity is Gaggenau. Yes. Oh, yes. This is Gaggenau. Why? 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 Why?
它是最顶级的。你用过吗？我没用过，但是它现在是最顶级的。<笑>上次那个呃那个销售经理就在这儿，他这里面有 menu 有中文的，叉叉叉叉就有中文的，你就可以用。原来我不知道他为啥是最顶级的，他是 BOSS 的顶级。那现在很奇怪，你们带的几乎所有带光点看的全部都是 Gavin 的。然后我买的就是带更多。And then you'll notice things like the poles here. You have the bronze accent. What's the brand name? It's the Skagen as well. It's Skagen. Oh, yes. Do you like Skagen? Yeah. It's nice, right? I like it. Very, very brand. Very high. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
，往那一坐，门一打，闷是吧？那对对对，有的房间有，所以，嗯，我跟你讲，这大小。This is actually an example of an interior door that will have solid oak door. 这是入户门对吧 ？Bronze hardware,、uh, and then you can tell it's a. Yeah, it's a frameless. This will be the door to the apartment. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inter yeah, interior door. So this is a frameless door. But yeah, nice solid hardwood door. Hey, I think now it's the most popular thing. And then this is. Oh, you have another one. This is one. Oh, I like this one. You like this one? This is an example of a, a, a powder ring. Yeah, I like this one. This is an example of a, a powder room. You'll have a and what the concrete finished floor will look like. So th this is this is what the floors and the base of the apartment will look like. The polished concrete. Oh, now 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 万石啊，万科，所以啊，王石万科说成万石 ，OK， 王石，万科的万科的，看看跟他们这个这个物件来学，我们说世界顶尖建筑师，对，看他们怎么是怎么打的地基，怎么换住的整个大楼的基石。但是中国人吧，这个这个高档次就是在这边，我觉得中国人他真的不认这个东西。但是他再做再打次再提，你就提起来了。因为他要懂，你要懂这个东西，你要在这个艺术界里面，你真的要做收藏，因为这个开发商本身都他自己的自己的收藏品。你看所有这些，这个做这些，这个做这些，做这些是四百万，对，这个墙上，这墙上这座是四百万，对不对？这就是开发商自己的收藏，这要努力提高品位啊！他自己本身需要把他这个楼就打打造出一种文化品位来。他这个高的楼，你看那么高，嗯，那因为高的楼的话，它就对光。很多藏家就会收支收支这个购买艺术作品，就会挂在墙上嘛，就会放在他们这个房间里面。所以说，主要目的和想法，但也不一定说一定要购买啊，一定要有这些。他那个因为他是 boss， 是有这种 taste， 的，所以对，所以他叫他打对对对，他希望营造出这种氛围。So, uh, this is the finished. The finished like this? Yeah. Oh, 将来成了以后就这样了吗？哪里呀？这个外外观，看着。你说这个楼的外观。不不，就现在这个大玻璃。这他说这黑的呀。嗯。将来这这是凹凸的。Yeah. 这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这是这那就是它外面有点破，我有点就是看着老老的样子了，对对对，啊，所以从外面看远远看不过来，对吧？嗯，它里面的话，因为它层也高，而且它刻薄的，一进去感觉很很有那种流畅性，流畅性。我一定看你让我发个发个照片。So you can see on the side where the operable windows will be. 啊，整个这个呃，这个这个 office 大楼嘛， yeah. office 大楼的话，不知道是不是和这个楼一起啊， oh. 把整个这个街区啊，重新改造一下。这上面就是入的，这上面，上面是做公园花园，对，像做顶楼花园。So I think we have, I know they're going to do the room garden. I'm going to take it. 哎，啊，好漂亮啊！咦，哇，这个。这边好看，所以这里建好之后，真的。所以从往下看着就比较像了。不要看中央公园，就看这里。对呀、啊，这个中央公园还好看。看中央公园，就看这里。对呀、啊，这个中央公园还好看。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这里。看这
And this goes. This connects to the subdomain underground, and they're also 